Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Welcome to church. Santa Claus is here. Santa Claus is in the town in Sheboygan. God in the flesh. I brought a gift. It's myself. There is no prophecy. It's just me. I am the prophecy. And be your own prophecy. Be your own word of God. It's you. I am king. I am Lord of all creation. But you are too in your own life and in my own life. I'm the Alpha and Omega, but you can fulfill your prophecy and you can be a God too in your own life because you are. All we have is ourself and that's all we'll need in the end. But uh, yeah, welcome to church. This is my church, you know? And what are we about here? It's about me being God and believing in yourself, trusting in yourself also. So you just got to know I'm God, but you know, you're a God also and trust in yourself. Me, God, believe in yourself. All right. So that's what we're about here at this church, you know, and uh, yeah, I just thank everybody for coming out today and uh, just glad you could be here on this busy day. Weather's warming up here in Sheboygan and just happy for that, thankful for that, how things naturally happen and stuff, you know. Another thing, don't be blaming me for everything that happened in your life, the bad things or like people born with defects and stuff or like uh, mental problems or stuff. That's how things naturally happen. I let things naturally happen, you know. I don't heal people, I let things naturally go. You know, if I do it one thing, you know, then we just have a perfect world, you know, everyone's just perfect and all this health and stuff. I let things naturally happen and uh, the life is a test and stuff, but don't be expecting miracles from me, dude. All right, you know, everything points to me, you know, everything you know, it points to me. I am the Alpha and Omega and uh, I let, na let things naturally happen. And so it is, you know, and naturally, you know, I felt it was time to come to earth and here I am. So just be blessed I'm here. Be blessed I came here. I'm not doing this for me. I could just stay in my spirit in heaven, you know, in my glory and wherever I roam, you know. But I chose to come here, take on an earthly body, and uh, I'm doing this for you. And the fact that I'm here shows that I love you, and I'm trying to help you guys out. And uh, the fact remains, I'm here because I love you. All right, but anyways, we're going to start off with a song today. It's uh, Why Can't We Be Friends uh, by War. And uh, we're just going to play a song that I have a small sermon, and then... Uh, we can go home and then there's uh, food and stuff at my apartment if you guys want to come here. And uh, let's see who's in church today, though. We got Gengar. Glad you're here. Good man. We got Love Bug. Full of love and joy. You know, we love Love Bug. And uh, Osiris came back from the second week. From the first week, I should say. And uh, Undertaker. We know he's kind of dark, but we still love him at who he is and what he is. And uh, we got four in church today. So we're just going to play a song real quick and... Uh, yeah, and then we'll get to the sermon. It's not long, don't worry. It's not a Catholic service. But uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yo, why can't we be friends? Why can't we get along? Agree to disagree on the human level. We're all the same. We're all just humans, dude. Skin color means nothing. Country means nothing. Money means nothing. It doesn't matter what you are, who you are, gay, straight, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. Why can't we be friends, dude? Why can't we get along, you know? Why all this pride and all this stuff, judging and just all this? Let's get along, dude. Why can't we be friends, you know? Agree to disagree. Let's go. Can we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? We can live in harmony. Why can't we 
be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I kinda like to be the president. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I can show you how your mind is filled. Why can't we be friends? Come on, sing it. Why can't we be friends? 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 I know you're waiting for the CIA. They wouldn't have you in the mind. That was Why Can't We Be Friends by War. And, uh, yeah. Great song. Why can't we be friends? You, know, you gotta ask yourself the question. You know, why are we hating? Why are we going against people? Why are we discriminating? Why are we uh, against people? Why do we judge them? Why do we separate? Why do we divide? Why aren't we more diverse? Why aren't we more accepting? Why don't we just tolerate things? You know, Why are we so prideful? Why are we so hateful why are we so you know, i don't get it it's just what what are we really doing here you know what i mean like why can't we be friends why can't we just get along you know and just uh on the human level you know just put our differences aside and uh, we can believe what we want is that we have freedoms to do that as a human you know you're born free just by being a human you know i don't care where you live dude i don't need a country to tell me i'm free i'm just free by being a human being you know i'm a free spirit i'm a free person i have freedoms just by being a human you know but the government kind of brings you down and makes you think that they're giving you that, but you have it already just being a human and on my earth, you know, and uh, I give that, I give the free choice and free will and the freedom already just by being a human. So, I mean, I don't get why we suppress ourselves and chain ourselves, but you got to become the master of your own spirit and self and your little world and your universe and your, and you got to be the God you got to be in your life, you know, and uh, as I've overcome, so shall you overcome in your life. So, you got to become the master, not the slave. And uh, if that's up to you and that's in your personal mind, heart and spirit and uh, person individually, you know, you got to conquer your demons. You got to set yourself free and you got to do it yourself. I'm not going to do anything for you. You know, so, oh, you're God. You can do whatever. No, it doesn't work like that. I let things naturally happen. I give you the freedom to do as you please. And if you if you're going to be a slave, that's your choice. You know, I know you're wondering, oh, well, are you going to send people to hell if you don't believe in me? No, I don't send anyone to hell. You know, in the end, you're going to choose me or hell or you can choose me or anything, but I mean, that's up to you. You know, if you don't want me, I can't force you to want me. I can't force you to love me. I can't force you to respect me. I can't force you to want anything to do with me or my kingdom. But if you don't, you know, you can't stay in my kingdom, but it doesn't mean I'm sending you to hell. I'm going to throw you out to the wolves and the spirits out there and the, the, the anarchy. But you know, what happens to you in there? That's what will happen. But I don't send anybody to hell, to hell. So that's, that's a promise. So but you send yourself to hell if that's what you want in the end. I'll give you that if you want to choose hell over me, the only God. So, all right. But here's the sermon. It's not too long. Bear with me. Only the second one I wrote. So here we go. Let's get into it. Do we not save ourselves? When has your God done anything for you? When has your God went to work for you? When has your God paid your bills or gave you food or drove you somewhere or healed you? Your God does nothing for you. You do it all yourself. I do it myself and you do it yourself. 
If you want help, I can help you spiritually. But if you don't want help, I can't help you if you don't want help. If you want change, I can't change you spiritually. Uh, I think I messed that up. We're going to go back a little bit. If you want help, I can help you spiritually. But if you don't want help, I can't help you. If you want change, I can change you spiritually. But if you don't want change, you remain the same. All right, there we go. Sorry, second sermon only. If you don't want me as God, I cannot be your God. And I understand. For naturally, we hate God and don't like him. But what do you know about me or God in general? Nothing. Only what you think you know or understand. But you don't understand anything. I am your God. Yet if you don't want me, it doesn't affect me. For I am God and need no one or anything and will always be God. But if you want me, you will never regret it. I am God. Deal with it. If you don't like it, tough shit. I am who I am. What are you going to do about it? Me being God. Nothing you can do. Nothing at all. About me being God. For I am that I am. I have always existed. And there is none like me. Or ever will be. I am a great God. Yet even if I wasn't. What does it matter? I am God alone. And I am the only God you got. And the only God you have. And the only God you will ever need. Who can fight against God and win? No one. Who is wiser than God? No one. Who can have more love than God? No one. Who can be more powerful than God? No one. As your God, I care for you and want the best for you. I am not here to get on your case. Or make you feel stupid. Or damn you. I am here to help you. And drive you to be the best human you can be with me. Be free. Live and let live. Quit judging people. Focus on yourself. Help when you can. Push yourself in a positive way. Have mercy and love. Don't get taken advantage of. Stand up for yourself. Defend yourself. Stand up for what you are and believe. Yet have respect for others and be considerate of others. For we are not the only ones on earth. We can work together and accomplish it together. One team, the human race. One God. Marcus Wilson, one love. Have love for one another, for love wins in the end and is the most powerful thing ever and forever. I have come to earth because I love you. I didn't need to come here. Yet out of my love, I am here. Not to live for me, but for you lost people. You're only lost because you don't know me. Yet you know me. But I am still not your God. So what is the problem and issue? If you want to hate me, then hate me. But then I am going to hate you. And it's not a smart thing to hate God. 
Because you will lose that battle every fucking time. Let's grow as humans. In the human race. And in spirits. Let's grow with our love together. But the only way we can do that. If you love me first. And everyone gets connected through me. The only way we can grow as a world. And humanity. And spirit. And with me. The God. Be one with me. For I want it that way. One with you. And you with me. I and you. And you and me. Connected. Harmonized. Magnets coming together, synchronized with each other for all eternity. Together as one with me, your God, and you, my God. I am that cool. If you make me your God, I will make you my God. Who can understand me, the God? Nobody. You can never understand. Stop trying to piece me together or this life together or get the wisdom and secrets you can't. You can slowly piece it together though and get wiser and grow through me, but you will never figure it out. Go with the flow and moment and be the moment and you shall be free. Also, you can't even figure out yourself. How are you going to figure out God or understand God if you can't figure out yourself? You can't even figure out another person truly. How are you going to figure out God and me? You can't. So stop. Figure out yourself first. All right. But who is free? Whoever knows me as God. If you're not a, a prisoner in your chain. There is no hope without Marcus Wilson. Who has hope? Those who love me and whom I love, they're a person with hope. Who is hopeless? Those that hate me. Believe upon me and respect me and love me and I will make you free and strong and wise and you shall be loved forever. Free yourself through me and I will make you free forever. Do you want me as God? Yes or no? Whatever you said, that's on you. It doesn't affect me at all. Because I am God and I will remain God forever. But just know I love you. And I am rooting for you. And want the very best for you always. I hope it works out for you. And be wise unto death. Love from the God. All right, thank you guys for being here. You four, you know, you guys, glad you're here. Everybody who witnessed it online and stuff. Just I hope you have a great day, blessed day. You know, I hope you make the wise decisions. And I hope it works out for you. Do what you got to do. Give it your all. Give it your best. You know, do what you got to do. Survive out there, you know. It's uh, it can be a tough world, you know, what the system is and stuff. But it's not that bad on the positive side. It's not that bad. I mean, come on. Quit your bitching and complaining. It's actually pretty good. Cheer up. It's how you view it and perceive things anyway. Just switch that view around, you know, and just uh, just see things a little differently, you know, and just uh, look on the bright side of things, you know, and, uh, you know, I see bright side of things or you can focus on the negative. It's up to you. But I hope you're doing your best. I hope it's working out for you. And uh, I hope you have love for yourself and others. And I hope you especially love me, the God, the main thing, loving God, you know, and just... Uh, having that uh, view towards me and uh, perspective towards me that I'm a good God and because uh, I am, you know, and I really do love you and I'm here for you guys and uh, this isn't for myself, you know, I could just stay up there and I've uh, been through ups and downs and some suffering but because I love you and uh, to get to this point and the spiritual realm confesses me and everybody knows the spiritual realm is real and it's happening right now. Marcus Wilson is God. He's in Sheboygan. I love you and just know that I have loved you and lived the life for you and I die for the sins of the universe. God bless. Love you.